425 crit damage. Q in the Yuko LT. 487 crit damage. Q in my own ultimate. How much damage will this be? This is not even the highest crit damage yet. I can still do more by bang. 250k right there. Hello, Internet. And today, it is time to mess around. Now, we all know Sparkle's adorable. The other thing that we know about her is that she's suicidal, which is why I prepared for you guys this team. It reeks of suicide. We got Jingle that sucks off of everyone. And while most of the people here are chronically depressed. However, what's fun is all of them increases crit damage as well, one way or another. And I'm gonna feature Jingle as well, especially because I've got the ice set on, which gets me 25 crit damage increase if I ult. Yukon gives me 61 crit damage if she ults. Bronya gives me, well, a lot of crit damage if she ults. MF Sparkles one gives me a crud ton of crit damage throughout her skill. We are gonna make the world's first. Jing Liu, that's in similar to universe, but we bring it out to MOC. Now I'm gonna again go to MOC now because it's just easier that way. The reason why I'm here though, well, I kind of just want to watch the damage man. Do you not want to find out? We'll set it up here and then, you know, I'll actually show you a casual team that I think is perfect for Jing Liu. No sweat, no nothing, but I'm pretty sure it beats everything one to three cycle. But anyway, let's load up every technique I've got that it is time to put everything I have into your wood. It's made out of wood. It's not weird. Right, the way this team would work is if I'm normal, I would just push Jing Liu. In fact, I would have sparkle out speed, but it's not normal. What I want to do right now is push myself, which some of you may not have seen this. And look at that. Somehow when Bronya pushes herself, the zoom in onto her face is just so forced. Like it zooms in so hard. You see pretty much the whole screen filled with Bronya's face. And now we have sparkle. We can and push Jing Liu. Now, just by pushing Jing Liu, let's look at the crit damage. I'm already 373. What the crud, man? Just the dreams already gives me 88. That's a lot, dude. And what I do with Jing Liu here is to not use our E. We have to use our Q. We need to be patient with this, okay? Trust me. Here, I have to pray that you don't kill me. And now we'll have our first ulti online. We're, we're gonna have to slowly set up everything. There's no other way. And here's where I push Jing Liu. Take the turn right here. We got our ulti on Brian already. How much is the crit damage right now? It's 284, which we because we lost our dream diver, right? Sparkle skill will not last for two turns. It actually ends on the start of the next turn. So if I take a turn with Jingliu here, I lost my crit damage now. And since Jingliu takes an extra turn, like right here on her E, right? I cannot just push her with Sparkle. That is one thing that's kind of not too good with Sparkle plus Jingliu. But we all know Jingliu is broken regardless. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what brute force look like. I have almost everything now. I think we can start, guys. Here's an E with a Sparkle onto my girl Jingliu. Depression feeds into depression. And now let's just use some ulti. Ulti one goes. My worry now is you might one shot Yukon number one and number two. Okay, you're not one shotting. That's great. Number two, you might die before I even get to. Actually, never mind. You just hear it yourself. Oh my god, thank you for being a harder punching bag. And now it is time. Q in the Brian LT. Four two five crit damage. Q in the Yuko LT. Four eighty seven crit damage. Q in my own ultimate. How much damage will this be? This is not even the highest crit damage yet. I can still do more by bang two hundred fifty k right. There. And now that I just used my ulti, I activate the ice and 512 crit damage. Ladies and gentlemen, simulated universe Jing Liu in MOC. Holy crud. 300k damage right there. Now you would say IL Dan would do more, which is true, but that is at a cost of three skill points. I just did that with zero. So, and now to showcase to you guys what like a normal run would look like with these two plus Jing Liu, you would push her with Branya or Sparkle. Actually, it's better to push Sparkle first before Branya pushes. But either way, we should still work it out. This is like the most troll team ever, so if it works out, it's actually pretty impressive. We have Jing Liu again. We don't even care that you don't have Transmigrate. We're gonna get it back really soon anyway. And with Yukon, I can actually just use my E all the time, though. Know? Even if I am not gonna, like, get the most out of it, but I have too much skill points anyway. This team is just the peak of convenience. Here comes the ultimate. I just so happens I got Yukon ulti. Why not use it, man? Let's go. This will go down. And bam! How much crit damage do I have already? 346. The issue here is I don't have Sparkle skill. And that sparkle skill does give you a lot, man. Jeez. Now, ulti onto the horse. How much will this be? This is not as much crit damage as before, but yeah, the damage is, you know, obviously lower. But it is still good enough. How much do I have now, though? 371. I have one, two, three crit rate. Like, I crit you so many times, it appears twice. Throw down the E. This should end it now, though. 160k damage right there. It is lower than I that hand, but keep in mind, this is with zero skill point usage, right? That on its own, I think is pretty impressive, dude. Now, ulti goes in with sparkle. I'm hoping the horse dies to the turbulence, but uh, 
It's probably not gonna happen, though. Back. Yeah, nah, that means <laughs> Yukon does die. Unfortunate that you just don't want to hit Bronya. But who cares? This is a troll team. I'm about to show you what an actual team looks like, though. That was the 500 crit damage Jingleo that I want to bring out of Super Universe to MOC9. I think we did it, Bailu, didn't we? That means yes. Now, allow me to show you guys. If you're a casual gamer that somehow owns Bronya and Sparkle, this is what you can do. You want to actually make Sparkle faster than Bronya. Right now, I got 156 on Sparkle, 155 on Bronya. Now, ideally, you want 162 on Sparkle and 161 on Bronya. But, you know, be my guest. Try it, right? And with these two, you need a speedless DPS like Jing Liu, which is easy to do, right? Just slap all the attack boots. Don't have speed on. And congratulations. You've unlocked the perfect, not perfect, but a really good speed tuning that doesn't require too much brain. If you add Ron May in here, this team gets even crazier. But it's too risky because of this guy, a Rubaton Gatekeeper. He's the sole reason why I don't want to play. I forget, I will say 10 or 11, I forgot which. But yeah, that guy's too annoying, man. You have to run a sustain, or else, like, you'll have to farm for RNG. Either way, it is time for me to show you how this team actually could be better than what a Dan Hang team would have. Let's see, man. Is Jing Liu overtaken by Isle Dan Hang, or has she actually just gotten better after Sparkle? I happen to think, yeah. So, what's gonna happen here is, again, Sparkle will be the speed boot for your Jing Liu. That's pretty much it. And I just learned that this television gives you energy if it's happy face. I never knew that somehow. What the crud? Now, this is the easiest team of all time, and it's just good anyway, because you get to just do 100k for zero skill points, and all you have to do is to press E. That's that's kind of it. Now, let, let me keep my ulti in. With this team, you're not going to get too much crit damage. It's still, like, almost 300, though. But yeah, you'll rarely have Sparkle's skill and Bronya's ulti together, so they can stack all this crit damage, though. But it is just good enough, like, balance-wise, right, to still do a lot. 150k there, and right now, I have the most crit damage, I believe, minus the Bronya. I have 309, so plus Bronya is probably gonna be 350, 60, about that amount. And outside of the turns where Bronya does not have her ulti, I'm doing 150k with this, so with her ult is gonna be even more bad. However, yeah, Dill is definitely still better here, because considering they're weak to freaking imagery, right? But this team should just be able to brute force anything, though. Like, we'll, we'll try this out. Let's see how long does it take. Right now is the first cycle. They're half dead. West Sparkle again, and guess what? I'm the speed boot, so take a turn with you again. Not in skill points? Let me just say, ha, I am Sparkle, and I'm gonna spawn four. Who designed you? What the heck? It just turned Honkai Shadow from a turn-based RPG into my turn-based RPG. It's constantly my turn and I get to do whatever the crud I want, man. 100k every turn, man. Jesus. Now I have my LT, but I don't have to transmigration anymore, which is totally fine, I think. I just have to not touch the uh, Arumatan. Oh, man. Why does that happen if I hit his allies, too? That's so annoying. Right, this is gonna be very... Yeah, that pushback so, so annoying. Not much I can do about that, though. Now we have the Sparkle. We did get pushback on the Bronya, but hey, look at this. I get the push on my Jing Liu again. That's my speed boot right there. It is time to die. E goes to you. That's gonna be good da- Okay, that's not good damage. What? I almost want to save Bronya's ultimate, but you know what? We, we don't gotta save that. Let's just duck everything again. Ult goes in with the Bronya. Okay, maybe that- Maybe I need them to save that. Well, it's too late to worry now. How much do I have in terms of stats? 335. This is with Bronya's help, right? I think we one-shot the whole map here. Let's see, Jing Liu. Channel your inner depression. 141k, eh? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, the presso. A lot of the characters in the Hawkeye Star are just messed up in the head. Right, dead is dead. That took me one cycle, which is pretty dang nice. And you pretty much don't have to use your brain, right? Just hit E on the Jing Liu. She's gonna get 350 crew damage most of the time. Bang. Like right now, let me use my ult with the sparkle again. Spawn me four skill points. That is so stupid. How do you just get to do that? My crit damage now 451. I did nothing special, right? All I did was spam E when I had it, spam skill when I had it, use ult when I need it. This Japard has eyes rest. Keep that in mind, okay, Japard? You're about to get nuked anyway. Let's go ahead and do that with an E. A bang, 110k with someone that has ice rest. That's what 400 something crit damage is gonna do to you, man. I still have 400. Where is it even from? I don't even know. But keep going, my guy. Bam. Let's go with the E. This should do a bit less now, but still quite a lot. 77k. That's solid, right? Now keep in mind again, this guy has ice rest, so it's, it's gonna be a bit tough. We will be pushing Jing Liu again. Now, I think this is a huge waste, but there's no way I ult without having transmigration, so I can only use E here. E goes in. You're gonna lock on. Doesn't matter. That's annoying. Push you again. That's the second turn, I guess. What, baby? I got my transmigration. But the damage nullifier is so annoying, though. I can get rid of one of them, at least. I guess I'll do that. Now then, help 
how much is my crit damage? 284, yeah. Not perfect, but it's easy to use. Like, it's easy enough. Anyone should be able to, like, process this in their head, no? 63k done. It's definitely lower than a deal would do. I mean, you've got eye stress, so unfortunate. Bang, 83k now. It certainly takes a bit of time, but hey, I'm still just on the third cycle, so <laughs> anymore halfway through. Oh, we might have some problem, guys. Ratchet ran out of skill points. I guess it's because of Ho Ho, huh? In order to preserve your speed tuning, you always want Brian to never use her basic. That's what I think. So I'm gonna just use the Q. Bang, that is not even 1% of damage. That's wild. Okay, maybe I should have just used my E. Yeah, I would have ended up an ulti, didn't I? I kind of forgot Sparkle's broken like that. Well, now it's a shame. I think I just wasted that entire cycle, didn't I? Oh, man. Oh, good, though. After this trade, I will have the most perfect, seamless cycle ever. Go with some damage, my guy. How much will you be doing now? 100k again. Here comes the heal. We'll have whole charges up, and then here comes the shower of skill points. Get me with a plus four, baby. And bam. Now we have Jing Liu. I should have waited for Sparkle to eat my Jing Liu, but you know what? That's okay. 360 crit damage now with 96.7 crit rate. Honestly, if I miss crit, that's also a travesty, but don't think I happen to see that happening. Sparkle. Now, you guys watching this, treat this as a challenge. Look at the mass that's flowing around Sparkle. You will be hypnotized in three seconds, dude. Like, oh my god, it's so fast. Now, to push Jing Liu, how much crit damage are you giving me now? 451, baby. Heck yeah. So if I push her first and then did my ulti then, that might have been one cycle less. Oh dear me. But either way, 100k? Yeah, I, I don't think I could have saved the cycle, actually. Never mind. Push me to Jing Liu again. Depart with 4% health left. If you are left with 1%, I'm going to push my head into a concrete. Only three cycles, baby. And guess what? You can put Run Mei in this team now against the meme. A team with Run Mei versus the meme, unless you're trolling, you're gonna kill him in like maximum five, six cycles, dude. So that is one of the easiest ways for you to use um, Brian and Sparkle if you somehow have them both and a Jing Liu. Not necessarily has to be Jing Liu, though. I can remove this person. Anyone else could be placed here, right? That's why I think this team is so nice. Maybe not Kafka unless you're running a Kritka. But interestingly enough, I might make a video on this. Firstly, Blade works beautifully. And one of the most trolled characters, Jing Ren. I think because of Sparkle, he has just became God tier now. However, I don't think you compare Brian in this, or maybe I have to speak to it differently. But yeah, it'll work on anyone. Even freaking Dill, it'll work, man. And to show it again, we got 156 speed on Sparkle. Ideally, want 162, I believe. So that you can have your Brian at 161. Since I believe the speed breakpoint is about 160 point something. But it's so hard to do. I don't know how you guys do it, lad. If you pair those two with Ron May, I already made a video, but yeah, that's gonna be even more broken. And we have our Jing Liu, which essentially has no speed at all. In fact, my attack is terrible. Holy. Crit damage is there, though. I kind of just wanted to stat 500. I did, and it actually did not as much as I thought, but hey, she had to spend zero skill points for 300k damage at 500% crit damage, so I'm taking that. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for today. Comment down below any ideas you might have. I sometimes take your comments and turn them into videos. But I recently have been less creative, and I'm gonna try to be more creative with Honkai Shadow again. But yeah, it takes a toll onto me. I just did the whole Wondering Way solo Encore thing that completely burnt me out, but it's worth it though. I needed a Bailu in Wondering Waves, and Encore's that person. I'll break Honkai Shadow again. Give me, give me some time. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed though. Take care.